Hello everyone, this video is about modal function. The model of can, could, may, and would for requests, permission, offers, and invitation. In this vocabulary building, I would like you to understand the use of model can, could, may, might, will, would. The use of can and could, for, for instance, it doesn't mean the use of model can for present or could for past. It's different. So, in this video, I would like you to learn the function of these models. Let's start from asking people to do things. It is called requests. We often use can or could when we ask someone to do something. The use of can, you can use can if you feel if you are close to someone, you can use can to your friends, to your brother, your sister. And you can could you use could the model of could for people you are respect to. Okay, to your parents, to your boss, for instance, even to your friends, if you um, feel awkward or um, you feel, yeah, you respect to, to your friends, yeah, to ask something to do things. To ask someone to do things, yeah, you can use could. For instance, can you wait a moment, please? And can you do me a favor? It is, it has the same meaning as can you help me? Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the station? Do you think you could lend me some money? I wonder if you could help me. Yeah, in this case. The last sentence, I wonder if you could help me. It is not interrogative, it's statement, but this statement has an intended meaning, which is request, right? I would like you to underline uh, the model, the use of can and the use of could. Now we go to other examples. The use of can and could and or may, you can use it using can I have to ask something. You can say can I have, could I have, may I have. For instance, in a shop, uh, you need to buy postcards. Can I have these postcards, please? Could I have the salt, please, in the, at the table? If you want someone else, you want someone to pass the salt, for instance, or sauce, or ketchup. Yeah. And then we go to the function. Uh, the second function is asking for and giving permission. We often use can, could, and may to ask permission to do something. For instance, on the telephone, hello, can I speak to Tom, please? Yeah, it's um, the home telephone usually, or telephone used in the office. Could I use your telephone? The use of could is more polite than can. Yes, of course. Do you think I could borrow your bicycle? Yes, help yourself. Yeah, ambil sendiri. May I come in? Yes, please do. And to give permission? We use can or may. You give someone 
permission but not good yeah you can or uh, you may smoke if you like yeah you give someone permission to do something use can or can't to talk about what is already allowed or not allowed you can drive for a year in britain with an international license if you are under 17 you can drive a car in britain remember giving permission is to something which is loud or not loud okay now we go to offer we sometimes use can when we offer to do things yeah you give some someone to do some to do some things it means you offer you give um you offer someone i mean can i get you a cup of coffee that's very nice of you you offer someone for coffee yeah or for tea in a shop can i help you ma'am no thank you i'm being served for offering and inviting which would you like not do you like yeah that's different would you like a cup of coffee would you like to come to the cinema with us tomorrow evening remember if you use a noun such as a cup of coffee do not put two there okay without two would you like a cup of coffee would you like tea if you use verb after would you like you so you you must um put two there would you like to come to the cinema with us tomorrow evening using two before verb okay now using i'd like if uh, it is abbreviated of i would like yeah it's a brief it's abbreviate of i would like it's a polite way of saying what you want or what you want to do i'd like some information about hotels please you are in the front desk yeah then you ask for some information i'd like to try on this jacket please it is a polite way of saying what you want or what you want to do okay now i have um reading text there is that an invitation in canada and the united states people enjoy entertaining at home they often invite friends over for a meal a party or just for coffee and conversation here are the kinds of things people say when they invite someone to their home would you like to come over for dinner saturday night hey we are having a party on friday can you come to reply to an invitation, either say thank you and accept, or say you are sorry and give an excuse. Thanks, I'd love to. What time would you like me to come? Or, oh, sorry, I have tickets for a movie. You say sorry if you refuse it. Sometimes, however, people use expressions that sounds like invitation, but which are not a real invitation. For example, Please come over for a drink sometime. Let's get together for lunch soon. Why don't you come over and see us sometime soon? Okay, you can see the difference between real invitation and unreal invitation or not real invitation. You say real invitation if you have specific time or you give specific time. It is not a real invitation if there is no specific time. You just say sometime. Okay, and sometime soon or um, lunch. Yeah, lunch soon. The use of soon and come over. The use of sometime. It's not real. Okay, these are really just polite ways of ending a conversation. They are not real invitations because they don't mention a specific time or date. They just show that a person is trying to be friendly. 
to reply to expressions like this, people just say, sure, that would be great, or okay, yes, thanks. So, next time you hear what sounds like an invitation, listen carefully. Is it a real invitation or is the person just being friendly? That's the culture of Americans. Yeah, that's different with Indonesian. You uh, people commonly use kapan-kapan mampir ya atau ayo mampirlah ke rumah. Nah, di budaya kita apakah seperti itu ajakan yang real atau hanya basa-basi? Atau apakah seseorang serius untuk mengundang mengajak atau mengundang ke rumah? semacam itu oke okay. that's all and I hope you get advantage from this video and thank you for your attention bye